Kabbalah, every magician, therefore, should study the Holy Kabbalah. Once he has mastered the main principles, he will find his work grow easy. Magic in Theory and Practice by Alistair Crowley, Kabbalah, or QBL as it is spelled in Hebrew, is a word meaning to receive, and refers to a system of classifying various phenomena, as well as discovering the hidden meaning of the Bible and other holy scriptures. Many distinct philosophical movements use Kabbalistic symbolism and methodology, each attributing their own meaning to its mystical concepts and parables. Among these are the Jewish and Hermetic interpretations. Though Kabbalah is a Hebrew word, it did not arrive from Judaism fully formed, borrowing from Greek, Arab, and Egyptian philosophy and dogma to form its deep and transcendent character. These other sects also borrowed from the Jewish sages, and in time, the advanced students could begin to see an underlying unity connecting all ancient philosophy. In modern occultism, the Kabbalah forms the theoretical and operational foundation. It is the language of the secret tradition shared by practically every group. Its study can be divided into three parts, the literal, the practical, and the cosmological. Study of the literal, or written, Kabbalah may be divided into three parts. 1. Gematria. Discovering the hidden meaning of words by calculating their numerical value. Some ancient languages tend to have alphabets, in which each letter may also represent a number, for example. The Greek words for will thelema and love agape both add up to 93. It is therefore to be assumed that there is some sympathy between these two concepts, or that one word will shed light on the meaning of the other. Point 2. No Tarikon. Finding a secret message by either taking each letter of a word to be the first letters of words forming another sentence, or doing the reverse and taking the first letter of each word in a sentence and forming a new word, for example. Prashith is Hebrew for in the beginning, and can be expanded to Prashith Ra, Him Shik Bov Thvrh, or in the beginning Elohim saw that Israel would accept the law. 3. Temora. The permutation of a word into another word using a cipher, for example, by using the method of ALBTH or ALBF, in which the Hebrew alphabet is folded in half, and the letters of a word are substituted for its match. The word kol or kol, master, is transmuted into CHMA or CHEMA, heat or fury. According to this method, we can gain deeper insight into the nature of the master. Meditating on the sentence, the master may reveal himself as the fury of fire. By using this method, we can make many wonderful discoveries, each aiding in the apprehension of spiritual truth. The practical Kabbalah involves the use of symbolism and scripture in the creation of spells, amulets, astrological interpretation, and ceremonial magic. Among the most famous instances of the use of the practical Kabbalah is the story of the Golem of Prague created by Rabbi Judah Lo ben Bezalel in the 16th century. Rabbi ben Bezalel used the golem a creature, made of clay, that is brought to life by reciting special incantations, to defend the Jews from an antagonistic and corrupt government. He finally deactivated the creature, for the Holy Roman Emperor promised to end the persecution of the Jews. It is said that to this day, the golem lies dormant in the attic of a synagogue in the Czech Republic. Symbolism, the language of mystery, by symbolism the simplest, the commonest objects are transformed, idealized, and acquire a new and, so to say, an illimitable value. The migration of symbols by the Count Goblet Dolviella, symbols inform and inspire. They have served as mentor and muse to the greatest minds humanity has ever known. In sculpture, painting, and literature, Symbols allow much to be said with little, facilitating direct contact with powerful spiritual energies, or marking the location of a vast treasure. Much of symbolism's allure to the transmitters of occult knowledge is that a symbol may be partially or totally misinterpreted by the uninitiated. This allows the secrets to be hidden in plain sight, where they can light the way for the worthy. In many cases, there are several doctrines existing side by side, or one within another, sharing the same symbol set. 
For example, esoteric groups, such as the Freemasons, use the rich symbolism occurring in the practice of alchemy, but may not ascribe the same meaning to those images as a medieval alchemist would. Ultimately, each individual must decide the true meaning of a symbol for him or herself. Perhaps this personal relationship that symbolism requires of us is precisely what makes it such an effective and enduring part of the secret tradition. Dragon. The dragon represents destructive power, greed, and agility. In Asian culture, the dragon is a symbol of royalty and temporal power. In some depictions, it breathes fire and carries the sun across the sky. In respect to the latter, the dragon is connected with the celestial boat of the ancient Egyptians and even with Noah's Ark as the guardian of ancient treasure and wisdom. It is featured in the heraldry of many noble families a reference to a legendary ancestor who slew such a beast. The dragon partakes of each of the four sacred elements, hard scales for earth, breath of fire, wings for airy flight, and watery undulating body. Dragons are said to have lived deep within the earth, sometimes under a mountain. Their food of choice in fables is sheep. Further identifying the dragon is the enemy of Christianity. In the form of Hydra, it is the first deacon of the sign of Leo, and may be an important reason for the relationship between the serpent and the lion in ancient mythology. It also represents the nodes of the moon, where it and the sun's orbits intersect. These nodes are known as the head capit draconis and the tail cauda draconis of the dragon. Eagle. The eagle has long been a central motif in magical, alchemical, and Masonic symbolism. It is the cherub of water, and is therefore connected with the sign of Scorpio and death. It represents the soaring of the spirit. In alchemy the white eagle primitive feminine state, betors into the red eagle, the feminine, that has received and balanced the masculine force, illustrating the natural process of evolution, from partiality to wholeness. In the form of the double-headed eagle, it represents mastery of east and west, life and death. Further, it is a symbol of the return of the soul beyond causality, and the abyss of knowledge represented by the sword in its talons into the world of direct experience and understanding, symbolized by the crown and the triangle above it, Ouroboros. The Ouroboros, Greek for tail devourer, is a serpent or dragon that forms a circle by devouring its own tail. The origins of this symbol extend as far back as 4700 BC, found on human remains from that period. The philosopher Plato described it as the first living creature. The image of an Ouroboros brings to mind the perfect method and completion of the great work in economy and silence. Known to the students of Cagliostro as the Circle of Necessity, Phoenix, the phoenix is a mythical firebird that represents rebirth. Its plumage and tail are of gold, scarlet, purple, and green, every thousand years. It builds a nest for itself out of dry twigs and ignites it, burning itself to ashes. From those ashes arises a new phoenix, reborn from the fire. The origin of this sacred bird is said to be ancient Heliopolis, the city of the sun. Serpent. The serpent is the most infamous creature in Western mythology. As a tempter, teacher, and savior, it helps us to understand by instructing through experience, and therefore initiation. The serpent corresponds to knowledge and rebirth by the shedding of its skin, and to the eternal tides of time with its undulations. Aaron's rod transformed into a serpent during his war with the pharaoh's magicians, perhaps alluding to the awakening of the secret energy of the Kundalini, or Coiled One. The path up the tree of life from Malkath to Kether is known as the path of the serpent, for treading it endows the seeker with knowledge, understanding, and truth. Sphinx. The Sphinx is the guardian of the mysteries and the model upon which seekers of light must base the construction of their character. It is a creature with the front paws of a lion, the head of a man, the backside of a bull, and the wings of an eagle. These are the four cherubim of the elements and fixed signs of the zodiac. Leo for fire, Aquarius for air, 
Taurus for Earth, and Scorpio for Water. The four powers of the Sphinx, which correspond to the elements, are to will, to know, to dare, and to keep silent. It is a dangerous and vicious creature, toward the enemies of truth, but to the aspirant, its presence indicates an entry to the sanctuary of light. Spider. A great builder, the spider is sometimes seen as the creator of the world. It is a weaver, and is therefore connected with the mind, which may be compared to a net that catches our sense perceptions. A common practice is to place an artistic representation of a spider's web known as a dream catcher above one's bed to prevent bad dreams. Star. The star is the guiding light of the wise as they follow it to meet the savior of the universe. It is represented cabalistically by the Hebrew letter A G acute, the meaning of which is a window. He stands for the feminine elements of water and earth in IHVH, the four letter name of God. The star is depicted in the tarot as a woman emptying two vessels of water into a river and on its bank. It is the symbol of Aquarius and therefore interacts directly with Leo as its complement. The star symbol signifies destiny and divine providence. Sun. The sun is the visible and sensible representative of our highest spiritual ideal. It provides light, heat, and therefore life to all orbiting about it. The sun shines equally on the righteous and the unrighteous, being a fair regent. It is therefore personified as Christ, Apollo, Buddha, Horus, and in its feminine form, as Ishtar or Amaterasu. Indeed, practically every true deity that man has worshipped is a representation of the sun. It is father of life, the sun of infinite space, the true center of ourselves, and the devourer of worlds. Corresponding to the Kabbalistic emanation of Tipareth, or beauty, and alchemical gold, the sun symbol is both the hexagram and the circle with a point in its center, the woman, the woman is the gate of life, the joy of existence, and the soul in her purest state. Woman is the symbol of the world soul, of the conscience of kings, and of providence. She is the mother of God, in whom all seek comfort, sustenance, and light, yet being charged with so immense a duty, she has no God herself, but that inner light with whom she must part in pain, feed from her breast, and carry in her arms while giving all of herself unconditionally. Venus, Isis, Mary, Babylon, and Sophia are all reflections of her mystery, names that many a high priest has uttered in fervent prayer. As the temptress of the faithful, she provides the ultimate test of loyalty to the regent of the universe, her lightest touch humbling the strong and proud. She is wisdom, beauty, and understanding, the great mother, the whole and the Virgin, so that the world might have true divinities of flesh and blood to carry the banner of liberty and breathe life into the yet unmanifested dreams of the prophets.